Hello, my darlings, darlings, darlings. I'm a little bit late. Um, I, this should have come out yesterday. But anyway, it's out or it's going to be in your inbox um, any time now once I've done it and Clara has a little play with it and make sure that it all says and does what it's supposed to do. Um, I try, try and stay clear of that. She takes care of the rest. But hello and how are you? And I am so, so, so very pleased that you're here. Why? Because the topic this week is the storm is about a new world. There are a few people that ask me, um, you know, what is it? Is it finance? Is it this? Is it that? Is it, you know, is it politics? Is it, is it, is it? And yes, the answer is all of it. But let's um, let's look at it a little bit um, more, um, a little bit more deeply. I'll say as I um, move through this today and what I've been learning and the rabbit hole, so to speak, that I've been going down, and I seem to be still in that rabbit hole. You know working out and, and sorting things out. Um, but first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. Thank you to those who are joining, new people who are joining and, and uh, being here for the first time. Thank you for all of your efforts and please keep those efforts coming to put into um, the um, to this whole you know video area to YouTube some um, you know add add to the subscriptions because um, we we could do with way more subscriptions it'll grow I know it'll grow it's only a matter of time. And you're all on this journey with me. And there's a couple of things I want to say to you in a few minutes. I'm going to keep referring to my uh, book here because I've made notes for today for myself. And I am going to do my, you know, the little readings I do for those of you on the air. I've picked out some readings for today. Um, but what I want to say, oh, I'm just learning so much. I've been down the rabbit hole and I'm searching and looking and reading and adding and um, and I have going through and have been going through, as I'm sure all of you darlings have, a bit of a tough time um, around me and that's happening to us all and we're in that we're in that time, you know, if you look at the charts, if you look at astrology, if you look at the world and what's taking place and the movement across the planets and um, all of these charts and things that are taking place, which are quite, um, to me anyway, <laughs> they're all quite complex and I'm still um, yearning, par pardon the pun, and learning about you know, how to decipher all of this. But so far, I've deciphered the movement across the planets, the movement in the US of their natal chart and what the US is going to be going through and is going through this year and the, the whole thing of Pluto moving and bottom line is, bottom line, darlings, we're all in. For all of us, we're on this planet. We're living on this one, Earth One, as I call it, and I've been referring to it lately when people do just amazing things and totally illogical and totally sort of like, what planet are you living on? Have you been saying that to yourself lately or when you've been around certain people? Has that been happening to you? Are you going... God, you know, what bloody planet are you living on? Um, so that's a bit like that. And there's more coming, more of it, because this is a time of death and rebirth. What does that mean? Well, it's about all of the systems, financial, political, religious, all of the systems 
that we know and understand that have existed for the last whatever amount of years, um, at least in the charts, you know, in the natal chart for the United States, for instance, it's about 240 years, and this is the turn. But there's also a turning point um, for mankind. There's a storm. There is a storm coming. I don't want to tell you that it isn't, but it is about a new world, okay? It's about a new world. And what does that new world look like? Well, it's about the world. We've been looking at a world where it's a hierarchy of, you know, a few people having all the say, you know, big companies, um, you know, politics, politicians, certain people. We're looking at a world where all of that has existed for as long as, as, long as we all know it. We're not, none of us are over, you know, probably 110 or 120 years old. So for the world as we know it, that's what's been going on. That's how it's grown. That's how the 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 um, planets have transited through, you know, this whole movement of the skies and we're now in change. We're now in the age of Aquarius. Take a look at Aquarius. Aquarius has all these little wriggly numbers. That's water. It looks like water. Um, the energy in water is just now being discovered. We'll talk about that another time. But we're looking at and we're realising that things like astrology, numerology, and a lot of these modalities are all a language. They're a language. They're a way... Um, you know, they communicate. These languages, you know, um, communicate through energy and through um, understanding them and, you know, looking back at ancient, I've met, said this before, ancient Mesopotamia where, you know, the whole world existed. That was the known world. And, of course, there was no TVs. There was no, you know, computers and there was none of all that sort of distractions and stuff we had today. So people stood and they were watching the skies. They were looking at what was going on overhead. They were looking at how the planets were transiting. They were looking at all that sort of stuff. It was a language. It was something that they understood and knew and that they experienced and that they lived in their daily lives. What's coming will change the future of humanity, okay? That's big. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a few years, but we're going to feel the impact of it, and we're going to feel around September to November, we're going to be feeling like and the American elections are during that time, and we've already had European elections and things, but we're going to feel, we're going to feel at that time like we've taken, you know, probably a giant step back. It doesn't feel like we're moving forward as, at all, but we are, and uh, that's going to pass, and after that um, we're going to move ahead um quite quickly and those of us that are tuned in turned on to um a more spiritual part of ourselves i want to cover off on things like you know we're going to be experiencing more gratitude more truth more honesty and of course leading towards peace we're going to have a greater um, a greater connection to, and I've seen this in this last week when my last video went out and all of the comments around my new little fur baby and your fur babies, your animals, your, your connectedness to your animals is just amazing and warms my heart because um, there'll be more of it and we'll have more of that and we'll live in more harmony with those other living beings, not just us. So this is about changing the future of humanity. So we we know and we realise we're a family of frequency, we're a family of energy, we're a family of connectedness, and, um, you know, this is going to be 
um, you know, magnified. Um, we're going to spend more time being together. We're going to spend more time supporting each other and more time understanding and living um, with greater power. We're going to have, it's interesting, the lights coming in. Here we go. They've arrived. Um, oh, here we go again. Um, I'm so touched when they arrive in this way. Um, it's just incredible. And it's been happening so much lately. And I'm so touched by the support. Isn't this amazing? The support. The support that comes from our non-physical beings. I love it. I just love it. And it wouldn't matter what time of the day. I mean, we could put this down to, you know, the light shining through the glass or whatever else you want to say, but... You know, it doesn't matter what time of the day that I do this um, recording. Um, you know, this has been happening a lot lately. So here I am again and you get to see the light show and I get to feel the energies of these um, non-physical beings and of source coming through. And oh, I so, 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 so want... There they are. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, I so, so want you, you, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beings, you beautiful energetic beings, I so want you to embrace this change, to embrace all that's going to be happening, to know that standing in your own power, standing with who you are, and what you're here for because more of that will become apparent as time goes on. You will learn more, discover more, connect more, not only with yourself but with one another and that's going to be um, an amazing time for us all, you know, moving ahead. Um, we, 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 this will all be magnified by us being together. These are the things that have been coming. Um, I want you, I want you, I want you to live from your heart, okay? I'm I'm wanting you to live from your heart. Um, I, and that means that I want you to have compassion and understanding. I want you to put out for peace. I want you to have trust in the process, trust in what's happening, trust in what's going on, even if it looks like it's so bloody chaotic that you don't know, you know, which you don't know which end is up, so to speak. You don't know where you're damn going. Um, but it's it's all it's all part of the plan. It's all part of our movement, it's all part of our um our moving ahead and being connected, it's all part of the age of Aquarius. But there isn't anywhere, anywhere, this is the death and rebirth, religion, politics. We won't, I'm not going to go into it in great detail because it's not necessary. Just know that every area that we understand that has been structured and run at this top level down is going to turn around and run from the bottom level it's going to run from the bottom level down and we're going to be um realize our powerfulness we're going to have more power um available to us we're going to have a world that's more of who we are, who we really are, not who we've told ourselves we are, who we're pretending that we are or who that somebody else is telling us we are. We are going to be, we are going to know and experience and understand 
more of our powerfulness. We're going to understand more about our connection to the planet around us. And I don't mean that on a superficial level, just in looking at the world and going, oh, yeah, well, I know a little bit more about that now. But we're going to understand it at a very, very deep level. We're going to understand about how energised water is and that the heavens are sending um, you know, energy to the waters, to the bodies of water around us. We're going to, it's mind boggling. I'm telling you, it's so huge. It's so big. It's such a change that it, it blows my mind. I, I'm, I must admit, I say to them, I'm struggling to, um, I do, I struggle, um, I struggle to share and 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 get the message across. I struggle with that. But I want you to know that I'm keeping on with this and I'm doing this and I'm and I'm in this even though, you know, I've got, you know, some turmoil going on um in my own life. But um the storm is about it is about a new world. And the new world um, is powerful and wonderful and it will be fabulous for us all. Um, it will take a while, but it's going to happen. So don't be shocked about some of the things I've been saying for ages. I've been going, banging on a, each week about um, expect the unexpected and uh, more and more that's escalating and the energies around that are escalating as we... Um, you know, as we talk. Um, okay, I'm going to do um, some readings now. I want to. I want to do. Um, I'm thinking about, and please put in the comments below. I'm looking, and it won't be on Zoom, and it won't be. Um, it won't be via any. Um, you know, um, technical data, or it won't be via anything like that. I'm looking to put out a date. I'm just going to shuffle these while I'm talking to you. But I'm looking to put out a date, pardon me, that um, we, we'll just lock into the time and we'll have a 15-minute meditation. And uh, this has been done by others um, in the world at different times. Marvellous things have come of it. I want us as a group to try it. Um, so next week I'm going to give you the date and time for that and we're going to all uh, meet energetically. It's not going to be you're just going to know, you're going to look at the clock, know the time, and for 15 minutes you're going to meditate on things like gratitude and truth and honesty and peace and love and caring and how, you, you know, how we will all live from our heart. And um, it'll just be a 15 minute and then you'll be able to give feedback on what has taken place for you after that, what's gone on for you. But next week, I'll give you the time and um, date for that. We're going to have another workshop going soon. I've learnt a few things from the last one I did. I'm going to do another workshop. I might even incorporate um, you know, a bit of um, maybe a bit of astrology into that as well as numerology. I want us to understand and look at this whole thing about all of these things being a language that we need or we could learn. If we learn it, we understand more about who we are, our planet, the people around us, uh, the universe, this whole, because we're not alone, we're interconnected and connected to one another. And um, so much. It's just so much, darlings. Um, so much. Okay. I'm going to, oh, the other thing I'm, um, please um, click on the link and subscribe and leave comments. Please leave comments. I want you, I want you, I want you. I'm urging you to, to oops, to leave comments. Okay. That's come out. Um, the readings today are for um, a person called Be Free, whoever that is, who's Be Free. Who, whoever you are, be free. I'm going to do this um, um, reading for you and um, and you can tell me um, what you think afterwards if you want to make a comment. 
um, you can. So a card came out which is God, Goddess, and I want to, and that's not surprising given what's going on at the moment, and it's going on for you big time. So I'm just going to um, look at these cards. Um, okay. Um, all right. Um, okay. Um, all right. So the cards that have come out are fear. Now, if you're interested in these cards and some of these things and you want to know a bit more and you can draw some cards for yourself, you can go to Amazon to Kindle and um, you can download the book on, um, you know, um, Soul, my Soul Wisdom cards and that. Um, I'll get Clara to put it in in the um, – I'll get her to put it in the down below so you can click on the link and um, and you can go there and you can buy the book um, with all the cards in it. And energetically, you can do the same thing as I'm doing here. Okay, fear card, the journey card, light beingness card, and the god goddess card, which fell out. So I'm going to leave that to the last. I'm going to start with this whole bit area of light beingness and the journey. So. Um, who am I talking to? I'm talking to you, Be Free, and uh, there is definitely a journey going on, uh, but there's a lot of fear around that. What's going on with the fear, darling? Um, you're fearful of things. You're worried. Um, you're not sure. Uh, you're uncertain. Um, what am I getting? I'm getting someone around you. Is somebody around you giving you a bit of a hard time um, over, you know, over your um the way in which you want to live the things that you see the the um your own expression your opinions is someone around you you know pushing back against that um i i'm feeling that i'm feeling there's a pushback on it and so that's creating a bit of a fear or uncertainty in you perhaps uncertainty is the word fear card came out but I'm getting uncertainty, so the uncertainty is bringing about this bit of trepidation and a bit of fear around some of the things that are going on. Stay on your journey, stay on your path, stay on what you're doing and the way in which you're doing it and the journey ahead. Why am I saying that? I don't know anything about what that is, but I do know this, that when we step onto a journey, when we step out, into that area we're in the right place because we're meant to be there we're meant to be going through that experiencing that where it's like stepping stones we're 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 stepping onto that we're on the we're and then we step to the next one and the next one and it's a stepping stone and it's a stepping stone towards awakening and awareness in whatever way that comes. And wherever it starts and however it starts is perfect. It doesn't have to be what, you know, Mary Jean over here is doing or, you know, Jack Mechanic over here. It doesn't matter who, we're, what everybody else is doing. It's our journey. It's our uniqueness. It's our special. When we're born and we're born in connection to the heavens, and it's, never du it's not duplicated. I have an identical twin sister. I'm going to be bringing her on the show soon. I have an identical twin sister. And even her and I, even though we're identical, we were born about three-quarters of an hour apart. What does that mean? It means we're identical, but... All the heavens, where the stars were, where everything was going on and happening and moving and all that translated into each of us being totally, absolutely unique souls and unique beings. Ne not to be repeated, never to be repeated. So if you realised your own uniqueness, oh, Lordy, you... you um. I'll tell you what, you'd stand in front of the mirror and feel so powerful. You'd feel so powerful about who you are. So this area of light beingness, this card here is beautiful. Why is it beautiful? Because it's surrounded by butterflies. 
So this is about the emerging you. Even though this is not the card of emergence, this light beingness is about this being of light that is emerging. That's you. The God goddess is also what is within you, what I've just talked about, your connection as above, so below. This is about your uniqueness and you being you. Don't be fearful of them. Okay, you can give me some feedback, be free or not, darlings. Um, up to you. Um, I'm just here. I'm just the messenger. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me do your reading for you and I bless you for your journey and I bless you on your way. Mm -hmm. I bless you, bless you. Tracy, Tracy, Paulus, 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 Paulus. You'll know who you are, Tracy, I hope. I'm going to do a reading for you, darling. I'm going to pull out some cards for you and see what's going on for you, darling heart. Let's have a little look at that. Let's have a look at, uh, oh, energy, where you're going. What the, wasn't that a fabulous light show before? Oh, I'll tell you, they arrive, they, they come along. You can't hear that, can you? It's my little girl barking at the other one. They've been playing, not fighting. I'm not going to say they're fighting, but they've been playing like crazy this last few days. They've driven me nuts, to tell you the <laughs> truth. Um, but, you know. It's like children, isn't it? Okay, okay. Um, Tracy, darling. Tracy, darling. Okay, all right. Ooh, unicorns. Ooh, bit of, you know what I love about unicorns? I love it because there's a sacredness of magic. And so magic in your life, magic in your life. Um, and there's this vibration, energy, and sacred journey. Um, but this magic, magic. Um, so what am I getting? Okay. Um, the first thing that came to me when the cards came out was that you're looking for a bit of magic in your life. Is that right? You know, we all are, aren't we? I mean, I am too. We're all looking for a bit of magic in our life. Um, you know, our connectedness to... It's not, you know, in times when things are tough. Now, I don't know what's going on around you, but maybe there's a bit of, you know, there's a bit of challenge and toughness going on around you. There's a bit of, um, you know, there's a bit of like you've got to get, you know, you've got to brace yourself a bit. You've got to get a bit tough in some of the stuff that's going on around you. Why am I saying that? I have no idea. But that's what's coming to me. So, um Look for the magic in life, darling. Look for the magic in your own life. And when I say look for the magic, look for those things that, um, you know, when we focus on, when we focus on things that make us feel really good or, or maybe a trip we're going to take or something we're going to do or some of the things that are going on, that we put in our head, we create like, you know, a bit like we build a fairy tale. That's good for us because that uplifts us. I've had to do that lately as well. That uplifts us and it it creates like a magic. It creates like magic in our lives. There's our little girl out the back there. Look at her getting around. Um, it creates like a magic in our life, darlings, and we need magic in our lives because it's that looking to the heavens it's that looking out there it's that bigger view for our lives why am i saying this to you because you need it you're you pardon me you're on this you're full of energy you're full of and all, all this energy stuff's coming from me so it's got that it, it's connected to you um magic Create a bit of magic in your life, Tracy. Um, look for the magic. What is it? Here's the question in my going. What is it that you could do that creates some magic 
in your life. Okay, now the last one. Zelina Donna. It's a great name, isn't it? Zelina. Now, Zelina, darling, I'm shuffling the cards for you and I'm using my soul wisdom cards, which I often do. Um, if I feel inclined, I'll pull out the, you know, the other pack or maybe have a look at, you know, the Oracle of the Universe or, you know, something else I might have around me. I've got Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. Um, you know, I can pull, that, pull those out and do a little reading on, you know, some of those. But for these readings, for these readings, um, I, I feel um, that I use my soul wisdom cards because um, they're very accurate and, uh, and I get, you know, such a lot of information from them and some good energies um, from them. That's why I use them. Okay, Zelena Donna, I'm going to split the pack into three. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. All right. So what I pulled out was the God Goddess again. As above, so below. Another another wonderful, strong, beautiful woman who is connected to all that is and all that ever was and all that will ever be. The energy and the universe and the spiritual beingness that is part of us all. That's what this is saying. Okay. The other card that came out for you, Zelena, is this one. The Sorcerer. The Sorcerer, for me, what I'm getting from this is um, you've been doing a lot of things, searching a lot of things. Um, I call it going down the rabbit hole. You've been going down some rabbit holes as well to learn some things, um, to um, discover more about you and more about things. This card is telling me um, time to be the source. So what is it that you want to do? What is it that you've been thinking about doing and you haven't done it yet but you're mulling over it? Time, darling. It's time to do it. The card here is the mystical muse. And what does that say? It's time. It's time for you to be the muse. Time for you to be the purveyor of information time for you to share some of the things that you know and more importantly have experienced okay you want to do this you want to mm, okay you want to it is time of transformation for you, Zelena, and the transformation um, is in the form of doing, you, you're, you're wanting to do something, whatever it is that you've been mulling over and you're wanting to do or you've been wanting to do, do it. Be the source of that, darling. Do it. As I said, love your feedback. Give me your feedback. Happy to have it. I have no idea at times what I'm talking about, what I'm saying, um, insofar as if I stopped to think about it, I'd go, "What the? where the hell did that come from? Is that true? Um, I've no idea. I've no idea. No, no, no idea. But what I do know is that I'm here to share a message with you. When they come, my people come to me as they have lately in the form of light and light beings and light beingness. I am so touched by it. I know, I know, I know that one day this will be such a, it'll be such a big, it'll be such a big channel, this whole thing. I'm thinking about um, doing some interviews and putting some interviews into it 
But you know what? I always ask you. You're my, you're my uplifting light beings and I appreciate all that you say and do, every last bit of it. So tell me, tell me, tell me. Make suggestions. It doesn't mean I'm going to follow them all, but I want your suggestions on what it is. What is it that will be helpful to you? Tell me what what I can do or what more or what other things I can do to be helpful to you. you leave some comments and tell me that. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to where I was a little while ago when I said, live from your heart. I want you to live from your heart and it's going to be incredibly important for you to be living from your heart because there's going to be there's, there's going to be some ups and downs and um, I want I'm holding the space for you. I'm holding the space for for myself and I'm holding the space for you to to see you through this time of you know challenge and this time of um, that's going to be a bit tumultuous. It, it's you can feel the energies. If any of you are tuned in, plugged in, turned on, um, you you will have been feeling all this energy, and uh, it's uh, it's happening, and it's happening to all of us in so many different ways, and we're all being um, we're all being tested and challenged, and uh, and so it is. I love you. I care about you. I want you to have the most amazing life that you can have. And I am so blessed and so grateful to be a part of that. I love you all. I'll see you next week on Wednesdays with Wallace, Psychic Medium. Oh, and don't forget, come and have a reading with me. I've got spaces available for you to have a reading with me and I'd love you to do that. So come and have a reading with me and we'll have a chat about your life. Mwah. See you next week on Wednesdays with Wallace. Bye for now.